when the two of you join forces to bring the story to life in this way. Um, Emma Thompson, I'll start with you. What did you think doing this? Oh, can you imagine the gift when, you know, not only <clears throat> is the story so fabulous about two women and they're in competition, not over a man or their love lives or anything, but in work and not only just work, but also creativity. And they're both artistic geniuses. I mean, I've never seen that. So it's a truly original story and it's a redemption story, but it's going backwards. You know, it's like a de-redemption story. And then you get the clothes and you get London in the 1970s. And then I get to play with my favorite young American, Ms. Stone, who's the greatest girl on the planet. So I'm, I, I, I was, it was kind of like all my Christmases had come at once and I'm, I'm not even kidding. <clears throat> okay, the underwear was hell, but <laughs> be that as it may, we can let that one go. You'll, you'll be okay that we we'll, won't we'll think about that later. Were they too tight? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emma, yeah. Emma, when you hear uh, Emma say this about you and these beautiful things and to, to work alongside of her and also this transformation that we see you go through, um, how great was that to recreate this look and, and take this role on? I mean, it was so much fun. It was, a, it was a long time in the making. It was a conversation we had been having for, for quite a few years. And so the fact that it actually happened was very surreal. At the beginning, I, it really was like, I, I cannot believe this all came together. And in such an incredible way with Craig and with Tony, and especially with Emma, it was absolutely insane that that was, I mean, I think I genuinely jumped up and down when I heard that Emma was going to play the Baroness because I absolutely love her. We had spent a very fun weekend together many years ago and I just adore her, think she's the greatest. And so it was, it was a dream. And yeah, and then there was this, like the production design, the costumes, yeah. the makeup, all of it was just, it was like everyone was at the absolute top of the top of their game. And they were doing so much of the work for us in building these characters and creating the designs of these designers. I mean, we didn't have to do any of that. That was all done by Jenny Bevan. And I had a, an incredible man named Tom Botwood that was my hand, that was sketching all of these people and was my handwriting. I would try to work on the handwriting that he had designed for Estella slash Cruella. And it was just, it was just magical. It was incredible how, how much um, care and how detail oriented it all was. No, absolutely. I have a couple of the shots and images that I want to show you in a second. But if you just going back for what does a weekend with Emma Thompson look like? What in one word? How can you describe that? Uh, don't, don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. That fun. <laughs> <laughs> Very short to the point. Word fun. We'll keep fun. Um, uh, something before again before I get back to the fashion. The huge theme of this, which again, watching with my niece was so beautiful, and seeing my sister there with with her daughter. Um, Cruella is delving into the relationship between mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, Emma Stone, I'll start with you. How do you how does that resonate with you? You know, just having that. Well, I mean, it's listen, there's a there's without spoiling too much, there's two mother daughter stories that kind of exist, at least for Estella slash Cruella throughout this film. Two very, very different mother daughter stories. I have an incredible relationship with my mother. So that was, you know, I, par partially something that really resonated with me and that I could see, but there was something really fascinating about exploring the relationship between nature and nurture that I loved from the very beginning, because how, how much of us is defined by what we're taught by our parents or our caretakers, the people that we love from a very young age, and how much of us just sort of is inherently in there, and how much do we let that lead us as life goes on. So I thought that that sort of story, and that's that is sort of mother daughter, but it's also a very personal thing that I think I, I think about just in my life, how much of this is my nature and how much of this is my nurture. I thought that was really fascinating. For you, Emma Thompson, would you say the same? Um, well, probably not exactly the same. I mean, um, we don't know much about the Baroness, right. you know, as a as a parent, um, but one can only imagine that she would be pretty awful. Um, and what her story, 
you know, is her extraordinary sort of laser-like refusal to admit of the existence of anyone else in the world at all. Um, so one can only hope that she doesn't have children. Um, so yeah, and or pets actually, um, because you just worry, don't you? You just worry for them all. Um, so she's not someone who's able to care for anyone but herself and actually she doesn't really care for herself all she cares about is her creative genius that's really all she cares about and so she's representative of quite a number of people in our business and um other businesses as well who just can't empathize or sympathize with anyone because they're just so focused on this thing Right. You know, oh, so staying at the top of all her children are, are her creations, aren't they? Staying at the top of the food chain. It's such an interesting mm. sort of battle that they're in. Yeah. yeah, no, it's beautiful. Again, I think, and I got to wrap out of here, but I just want to show you this. This is my favorite. Can you see it? Oh yeah, I love that so much. You see all of the little soldiers and everything on the shoulders? Beautiful. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you, ladies. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much for this film. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sibby. Cheers. Cheers.